Hi all, so welcome to the today's tutorial. So previously we have added some uh, blood artifacts and thing. Okay, fine. <laughs> it is so satisfying. Okay, so everything was working hard except like we add one code like when we were hitting the head. It was all good, but as soon as the the destroy code I think it is not working okay it is I'm not sure like it was not working before see now uh, I'm not sure but the herd is not visible to me So let's test why is it like so. Uh, maybe because we haven't, we are not setting the slow back to false. So let's fix this. Be slow mo is equals to false. Okay, let's try control B. Okay, let's check. Give me a second. Okay, let me turn on my focus session. So it won't disturb us. 45, 60, yep. Okay, let's start. Uh, okay, let me try it again. The shorted. After one second, again I'm back, but I'm not getting the UI. Okay. Uh, one of the reason which I do think is like first change the begin destroy to destroy and second is like which I think we are calling the super before the logic. So might be a possibility. So I will just put it like this way. And it should work. Destroyed. Okay, Control B. Okay, let me check. It's done. And after a few seconds, we get back. Again, point two. After some time, okay, now it is. Fine. Cool. Okay, everything is working good as expected. So destroy on hit and the slow mo, everything is working fine. So today, what we will do? Uh, let me show you our target. So when we are shooting, uh, like or we are shooting the headshot. So see, like you can see the head is like popping out. So we will do that. So for this, what we will do? We will go to the assets and meshes. What I will do, give me a second. I will provide, I have already provided this. So, sm underscore man underscore full head. We will just drag it here. And the skeleton, I will use uh, UE4 mannequin skeleton as it is shared by our AIs. Import all. I do want to delete everything, the material. Save now when you will open the AI base, just go back to the AI and we can check for the main body and we can put in our head. Okay. So as soon as we will hit the head, what we will do, we will create one static mesh. Like we will add the skeleton mesh component at runtime and we will hide. So the first thing what we will do, 
in the AI base uh, we will hide this bone so the upper head will be gone so we will use a node called hide bone by name so uh, it will be done by in the mesh and next thing is we will add one more component called at skeleton mesh component and we will uh, we will uh, give the skeleton which we have added next thing is we will simulate physics and set collision enabled in there so let's see how we can do that let me open the rider so we'll do that once we have hit so here what we will do like if it is a body uh, actually what we can do this thing we can uh, put it here so we can replace okay get mesh is a type of your skeleton mesh component so let me do this okay that should do the magic okay so like so what we will do uh, first thing if we will check if the head dot bone name is equals to f name head so m um, Utils DM eight head. Uh, so first thing we will add uh, a skeleton mesh component. So so we'll not this way like mm, new object and it will be a type of you skeleton mesh. it's a intelligence not working skeleton mesh component and uh, next thing which we will do is to I think it will do the task next thing is we just have to register it if I'm not wrong and this comma we have to provide the class so you skeleton mesh skeletal mesh component static class k okay. Uh, okay this should be done I will store it in a pointer head skeleton mesh or sm underscore head is equals to this next is the sm head uh, register component uh, next thing is uh, we I think we have to provide the like relative location in the transform okay so we have registered but we haven't attached it so we will attach it first head attach to component and here we will attach it to the uh, attached component comma f attachment transform rule yeah I we will snap to the target including a scale comma in socket name 
so here we have to enter the socket name uh, with so open it open the mesh and let's check if like where we have to uh, attach the head so, mm -hmm. head we can attach directly to head if I'm not wrong so And once it is done, uh, like what I want, I want to simulate the physics. SM head simulate set simulate physics to true. Next is uh, I want collision to be enabled. So SM head set collision enabled to be E collision enabled query and physics uh, and what else yep one more thing we have to hide a bone from the attached component so attached component hide bone bone by name the bone name is the head Okay, comma e physics body hmm. okay so we haven't set the skeleton yet uh, so what we can actually do uh, skeleton mesh we want so we can expose it mm, you skeleton mesh add skeletal This to our true. Mm. If it is not defined, details DM haven't defined the head skeleton bullet. Let's check. Uh, let me open the Unreal. Control B. Okay, it's loaded. Let's check. Okay, we have head, full head. This is the one which we are looking for we have set it in the bullet right so compile and save let's see if it is working fine or not mm, I don't think it is working uh, let me uh, put some debug points there if it is hitting the head or not The bone name is none. Okay, uh, actually, we have to set collision settings because the bullet uh, in the SM underscore bullet it is a type of physics body, and to upon it is blocking everything, so everything is good here. But if we will go to the AI base in the mesh 
we have to check the collision settings so for the physics it is block but and it is query okay just click on the generate overlap events let's check but we were getting a uh, don't think it was the ship because before we were getting the uh, bone names right up um, yes we are getting the bone names Let me check okay uh, the reason being is like when we are shooting and the logs which is showing it is from the the pawn base give me a second let me show you so pawn base so when we are shooting on shoot we are triggering this as soon as we are here in the begin play we are doing the line trace so these line traces are printing those values so it's it, it is using the visibility channel and when the bullet is hitting something like uh, when they are when the bullet is hitting it is not uh, hitting that body so uh, what we will do first we will check like do we have everything set in the collision settings so we will go to the mesh AI base so just click on the generate overlap event I think we were doing a uh, good before so let's save and check again it is none we again have to check okay so when uh, we are debugging in the hit uh, we can see it is hitting the collision cylinder which we don't want so what we will do just continue this stop go to the AI base go to the capsule and we will uh, it is setting physics to be like uh, enabled and it is uh, triggering it so what we will do uh, we will make it custom and for the like the capsule I don't want it to block the physics body so I'll set it to ignore compile and save let me try it again check now it is working fine so continue okay I think it did work so let's check it again Hmm. It is working, but the issue is like it is not spawning the head. Let's check it again. See, it is destroying that head, but uh, it's not attaching. So let's do one thing. Uh, let's try to attach it to the neck if I'm not wrong. Uh, actually, one of the mistakes which we have done, or uh, I have done, I haven't set the skeleton. So, before registering it, SM head set skeleton mesh and this should be it again control B let's check if it is working
okay so one of the things which I have done is like uh, which I was thinking it will work but it is not I just added this line SM head that is skeleton mesh but it is not working so I'm just uh, checking again uh, okay I got the issue so I was putting this and this class is representing the ambulant base and we are attaching to the main actor like the the AI so I will just put this and at, for attachment I am using the keep relative transform and compile let me compile control B let's hope for the best and one of the things which we can do is like have some more distance between the bullet and the camera so let's try okay was it a headshot I'm not sure nope uh, I do sometimes think that I'm really bad at games <laughs> so it is working yep we can try one more time yes okay but like uh, when I was modeling like when I was tearing its head out uh, it uh, it seems good but still like we can refine it more awesome so uh, sometimes the hit is not working like the bullet is not working here the reason being is when I'm pressing G you can see that we have volumes so this volume is here this one this is the blocking volume which we can remove these blocking volumes I don't think they are needed so same with this one we delete this because this will uh, block the whole thing like when we will shoot let's try yep it is working uh, maybe like we will add some sounds too like now they are not running previously the bullet was not working here but let's try yes nice so i think this was it for today if you like the tutorial just do like and subscribe if you have some requests just comment it below and i will try my best to cover that topic out thank you and have a nice day